So uh, just make sure you guys like for part two. And uh, remember, this is not real. So starting off here, this is how you replace your brake pads and your calibers. So this is how I remove the brakes, tires, and everything else. Um, very important, once you remove the tire uh, and you're working with a jack, you know, you really want to make sure that car is stable. So uh, if you're working there for, you know, you'll be there for a while, make sure you set the tire up and make sure you are able to sit down because your your back's going to be killing you and you're able to scoot away from the car faster if it does fall all the way down on the ground. Um, when you are removing the tools, make sure you know how they go back in so uh, just so you, it's easier for yourself. And then also it's very important when you're putting them back in, don't use the old brake pad like I did. Uh when working underneath the car, you always want to make sure you get all the luggage and goodies out of the out of the wheel well so you just can reach around. You know, it's just easier for you to access everything, you know, all the bolts and stuff. Uh I think we start my lawnmower. Trying to. Um, once you get the last piece out of there, you're pretty much ready to start unscrewing and uh, breaking shit. Uh, I, I also cut the brake lines to make it easier so the calibers weren't stuck. Once you're ready to sit down, go ahead and... Yeah, okay, so um, once you're good to put the tire back on, you know, the brakes and everything are all good. Make sure you put the tire on the, the right way. As long as the brake doesn't go to the floor, we should be good. First thing is to make sure we don't have any lights on the dash. That means you did it right. What's that? I don't know what that one is. It means hold the steering wheel and... It means I'm in park, I think. That blue light means oil temp's getting low. All right, just one for a test drive. Oh my God, ill. Wait. Ew. Fucking Mustang? Disgusting. 